Hey everybody. So I just picked up this Pile 6 PMX 640BT. It's a 600 watt mixer, six channels. Um, I only gig out once or twice a month uh, if I'm lucky. So I really wanted something inexpensive and didn't want to uh, invest in anything uh, totally high end. Um, did some search around on Amazon. Really don't know much about Pile. Uh, but I uh, uh, went on Amazon, did some searching, and came across this bad boy. It was uh, $134 all told, and I, I think I looked at several listings just to make sure that this was brand new and not used. And, and um, uh, anyway, I figured, hey, what the heck, I'll take a chance. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, at least one gig worth of pay uh, to invest in it, so why not? Um, and what I've had before is this guy over here and my custom 5 public address from 1976 very noisy tried to do some work on it put some XLRs in there it hums bad uh, it just you know I, I think the picture says it all but anyway so picked up the pile um, just came in yesterday uh, through Amazon came in a plain box with a manual in the plastic bag um, so far uh, I'm pretty well blown away uh, it sounds, uh, I'm sure if you put it up against uh, anything four times the price, maybe it will sound different, but i got to tell you, um, I, uh, it sounds great. I, uh, the features on it, I'll, I'll quickly run through some of the different things that it has. As you can see in the photo here, um, six channels, each channel with uh, XLR balance, quarter inch unbalanced, um, uh, effects channel, treble and bass, uh, gain switch on each. Um, uh, six all told uh, over here uh, it's pretty well I kind of like even a little sort of quadrant design that kind of carve out the different functions that's kind of neat um, so you've got your USB uh, and uh, it takes SD card uh, it takes USB which you can kind of see here I've put some songs on it plugged it in uh, it's got some basic uh, playback controls a mode to switch between disc and USB uh, which uh, USB and Bluetooth rather which I put, got connected within seconds with my iPhone uh, graphic EQ uh, not too fancy but you definitely can tell a difference when you're plugged in and playing through it uh, there definitely is a difference in the sound quality um, uh, RCA in and outs for recording um, I have right now I'll go through my setup here in a second but um, volume volume control for that uh, the effects volume as you might expect the effects on this are pretty much what you'd expect to get for $134 it's and, I, and I'll take you through that too in a second it's that kind of ping-pongy echoey um, you know you really just want a tinge of it on your channel if you if you have somebody that's coming up to sing behind the mic and doesn't have any effects um, uh, although I will point out on the back of the unit I'll take you back there in a second that there is an effects loop uh, USB control, this volume control affects these. Don't know why the switch isn't up there, uh, but whatever. And of course, your master. Uh, let's take you around the back here. Apologize, the basement's a little messy today. So there you go, standard uh, um, standard uh, outputs there, and then uh, effects send and return. Interesting little tidbit here. I, for the life of me, can't find a serial number on this thing. Uh, but I haven't really just uh, flipped it upside down or anything to take a look. But anyway, um, so uh, what I have plugged into it, and I'll take it down through my rig. Uh, what I have plugged into it right now, uh, well, the one thing I will note um, is that uh, right when I turn this bad boy on, the fan word, you, know, you might have noticed there's a fan back there. Um, the fan is no noticeable. Not loud, uh, not annoying at all, uh, but it is definitely noticeable. Um, and there was sort of a plasticky type of smell that kind of came out of it when I turned it on and even this morning when I came in and turned it on this morning is sort of a plasticky smell I'm not really too concerned about that um, uh, be that as it may what I have plugged into this is right here I have a uh, that's a 200 watt PV monitor I believe it's 200 watts um, anyway it sounds great uh, going into channel 1 and 2 is my TC Helicon uh, voice live play I love this little guy and I really don't know if I've got this set optimally but I have my CD out right there 
going over to my uh, Behringer Eurolive P205D, which is my on-stage monitor. Uh, when I play out, I play such small places. I just have my one monitor going out towards the crowd. Um, it's plenty, plenty loud enough. Uh, and this definitely is plenty loud enough. Uh, I normally, actually before this, I played with a Harbinger MA6, HA60 600 watts um, mixer. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to assume this is going to be plenty loud enough for that. And of course you can see my little iPad there for my lyrics and such. But I'll give you a quick little demo of the, uh, just a clean, if you want to hear the effects, I'm sure some folks may be interested in that. Check one, two. So you can hear. Check. I'll kind of crank it up here. Uh, give a little bit more volume in the effects. You can kind of hear what it sounds like. Check. 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 So it's that so it's echoey, echoey ping-pongy ping -pong delay that I usually have it set really, really, really low. Just enough to give a little bit of... Hey! Just a little bit of ambience there or whatever. A little bit of depth. Ho! Oh. So, yeah. Anyway. And then, uh, I'll, uh, put the phone down here and give you a little demo of the, uh, what it sounds like with the, uh, with the guitar. Uh, let me figure out how to do this here. Hi, everybody. So this is what it sounds like with the guitar. Obviously, you're probably not going to hear it all that well. Uh, take it off tune here. Crisp and clean. Sounds pretty good. So, that is my review of the of the Pile PMX 640 BT. Um, we'll see how long it lasts in terms of uh, you know me carting around gig to gig. It seems pretty durable. It's that hard wooden wooden case with the uh, with this vinyl uh, covering on it, rugged handle. The thing's very light, uh, nowhere near as heavy as my old custom over here. Um, so it should be easy to get around, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to be uh, playing with it all day today. Uh, take care, guys.